This is Tammy Webster with Board Riding Rodeo Connection. I'm here at the 2013 Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. We're here in the Justin Sports Medicine Room with Rick Foster. And I know I just asked you, but you're, give, give me your title here and um, here at the Justin Sports Medicine Room and how long you've been doing this. Yeah, I'm, I'm a certified athletic trainer and the program director for the Justin Sports Medicine team. I've been uh, to every National Finals Rodeo here in Vegas, what, since 1985? And so as you can, if you pan around the room, you can kind of see where we're stretching the athletes, uh, heating them up, and then, and then going through, that, through the whole programs, taping. When you go there, they're, they're self-taping from the education we've done and help them assist to tape. Moving to the next room, and we're icing down bareback riders from the past rides as we're preparing other riders to get ready to ride in bronc riding and bull riding. And, and so this room here is to keep them going. Well, I would think this is probably one of the most important rooms in the building, really. I mean, all the guys depend on y'all to keep them going, help them, stretch them out in whatever they need. So what's the most common treatment that you think you do here? Well, it's a contact sport, so they're, so they're getting sprains, strains, contusions. Uh, the other thing is their opponent is quite a bit bigger than you see with other athletic events. You know, it's a 1,200-pound horse or a one-ton bull, so, so we get a little more severe contusions and sprains, and, and this is a, a very physically demanding sport. Now, we had Steve Woolsey in here last night. Um, how is he doing? Yeah, Steve's great. I mean, you know, he, he was very fortunate. He received a concussion last night, but he's recovered very quickly. Uh, and he's been cleared by our medical director, and uh, he's planning on riding tonight. Now, how many staff members do you have in here that's helping you? We have eight, eight guys in here uh, each night plus uh, three medical doctors, three to four medical doctors on top of the athletic trainers and physical therapists we use. Now, where all do you travel other than the um, the finals here? Well, obviously, this is where it, it ends here. From uh, We do 125 rodeos, so we travel around to trailers with our trailers or indoor events like here, and we'll set up a training room, and we'll treat them just as their team trainers and team physicians. Well, that's awesome. Now, what what's some of the things specifically, like right here, he looks like he's actually in pain. But um, so <laughs> what's he doing there? He's probably grinning a little bit there, but it's not gritting. It's grinning. He's pretty happy, but but by there, by, by Jill's one of our, our athletic trainers and she's providing uh, some attraction or mild stretch to, to his, his uh, cervical spine, releasing some of the muscles that are tight. Pretty When you get injured, muscles tighten up. So a lot of it is just to rele release that tightness, prepare the muscles for competition. Okay, now you said you've got a group in here that, that's icing the bareback riders that just got finished. Do you have, um, about how many do you have come in here? Uh, we're doing uh, 45 to 55 treatments a night. Yes. That keeps y'all busy. Now, how early do y'all get here, and how soon do the athletes start coming in here? We're showing up at 4.30, and we get out of here usually around by 10.30. We're doing treatments in the morning as well. And the athletes, they're, they're right in. Some of them are waiting. And, and we have, uh, you know, uh, six treatment tables, seven treatment tables. They're all full. Now, just to kind of overview, I know last year it seemed like this year the bull riding list was, like, huge. <laughs> and several. It doesn't seem like the injuries are quite as bad so far this year. So does it look like it's going pretty well this year as far as that? Well, keep keep knocking on wood. It is rodeo. Anything can happen. But, yeah, we've been fortunate with the, a lot more good bull rides, a lot less injuries. That That's a big part of it. The bullfighters are doing a good job. That's part of it. The guys are coming in here maybe maybe a, a more fit, understanding that are returning to the, to the to the NFR. So so they're they're taking it seriously, and we've been very fortunate. We're just actually watching. He's getting taped up, and he's doing our vid video series inside look into the NFR through the eyes of the bull rider or bullfighter and this is one of the things that he has done every day that they're taping him up for his shoulder because he's got an injury there tear so this is helping him to keep going um, he said he's actually something that he probably should have surgery on but he's gonna keep going as long as he can and um, we'll just let him if he can give us a quick comment on how he's doing here or actually we'll have the, the doc here can you kind of tell us a little bit about what you're doing here for Cody Come on, Doug. Is, are we live right now or not? Yeah. yeah. Um, we're kind of just holding his shoulder right in place because he has a piece of cartilage in there that could be torn, and this kind of helps hold this bone into the actual socket. Well, wow. That's um, sound like going to be pretty painful, but I don't know, he's out there working hard and doing a great job. So, Cody, just I guess get taped up good and be safe out there, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Gotcha. This is Tammy Webster, Bull Riding Rodeo Connection.